What's up guys, today we've got the Galaxy Note 20 Ultra versus the Pixel 6 Pro. So these are two old flagships that I really love to recommend and I get a lot of questions on which one should I get and um, for very good reasons. There are some like major differences with these two phones and um, I want to go ahead and go over the pros and cons of both and what I think each phone does a little bit better. Alright, so both phones here are about the same price in the used refurbished marketplace you'll pay around 350 bucks for both of these phones um, sometimes you can find them cheaper uh, but that's typically what I see them trending around alright so let's start off with the hardware so these are two very nice looking phones here and they both have very premium build to it I think the pixel is a little bit more comfortable uh, because it, do it doesn't have as sharp as uh, edges um, so when you hold it in the palm, it doesn't cut as much as the, the Note does. Uh, both these phones are glass and metal, and they're both IP68 dust and water resistant. They both have a pretty nice design. They both kind of pick up fingerprints, kind of glossy backs on here, and very nice, unique designs here. They're both IP68 dust and water resistant as well, too. All right, so here is a big difference here, obviously, with the Galaxy Note you do have a built-in S Pen so anybody who is into digital artwork or they just wants to navigate with a stylus this phone is really really great for that right because it's built in and you just really really uh, have a lot of software features with the Note as well too you can take advantage of a lot uh, here with the built-in software you can make gifts, um, coloring books, all sorts of stuff a Samsung has uh, with this phone and also one of the other biggest hardware differences with the Note is that this phone has built in SD card support and the Pixel 6 Pro does not so that's two major hardware differences that you need to sort of really consider right alright so next let's talk about the displays so I think I can easily give this one to the Pixel and I'm gonna explain why so the Pixel 6 Pro has an LTPO AMOLED display is 120 hertz HDR10 plus 6.7 inches, full 1440p, 512 for the PPI. The Galaxy Note has a 6.9 inch display, so it's actually it's a little bit noticeably bigger as well too. So take that into account. Um, it's also a AMOLED display, 120 hertz HDR10 plus, and it is also 1440p, 496 for the PPI. Here's the thing though, the Pixel can use the 1440p. 120 hertz and the note cannot it, it can only do uh, 1440p at 60 hertz you have to switch it to 1080p to use the 120 hertz so you're not getting the full resolution with the note 20 ultra so that definitely could be something that you know you just might not like right um, as far as the color and everything they both are very colorful displays like I said they're both HDR 10 plus and they both look really really good so they're both you know kind of slightly curved displays as well too um, but yeah, so I just like the being able to use 1440p at 120 hertz, and like I said, they're both pretty bright displays outdoors. Uh, but I think that would be the thing for me is like I really do like you know using it at the full uh, resolution. But you know, even if you just blind pick both displays, right? They they look really good, right? So I really like the displays, but I would give the slight edge uh, to the Pixel here uh, just for that you know that one thing. So let's talk about the chip. So on the Pixel, we have the original Google Tensor chip. It is running Android 13, and then we also have 128 gigs of internal storage, 12 gigs of RAM, no SD card support. The special thing about the Note is that it's running the Snapdragon 865 chip, and then we also have micro SD card support, 128 gigs of internal storage, and 12 gigs of RAM on this model. And you can see, um, really not too far off, uh, you know, from each other as far as the scores. You can see the uh, Pixel scored higher in the single core, but the Snapdragon uh, still scored, you know, higher in the multi-core here. Um, as far as the daily use, like I said, Pixel some of the one of the, some of the smoothest phones. Like especially on the home screen, I've always thought like these phones were very impressive when it comes to just animations and just feeling really fluid. Uh, it's the same thing with One UI, still very fast, but I still feel like the Pixel just has something like really smooth about it man it's running stock android and you running one ui so let me break down the differences just you know keep it simple right stock android you get updates really fast so when android 14 comes out 
you get the betas first and it's basically a just a Google experience stock Google apps and just a really clean smooth experience right with one UI it's it can be simple but it's a little bit more advanced you have a uh, the Samsung applications like more advanced applications like Samsung notes you have Samsung desktop support uh, on here as well too uh, like I said, you also have the S Pen software, and the One UI software just has a ton of stuff that you can customize. And not only that, you can download GoodLock, and you have all of those customizations as well too. So it's just um, I consider this One UI at this point for like more like power users. But like I said, you know, it could be you know, you don't have to use that stuff, but it's, you think of it as like a power user device, right? As far as general speed, uh, you will find that both of these phones are fairly fast with just opening applications. Like I said, they're, they're very smooth in terms of just opening apps. Um, they pretty much feel very similar uh, to me. Very smooth. Let's see, open up Earth. Now, I will say the Snapdragon to me is better optimized for gaming performance and I'm going to go ahead and show you that. We'll do uh, Subway Surf and then I'm going to go ahead and show you PUBG and just Show you why I say that it's more optimized in the, the note gotten that really fast. Alright, so I'm gonna go ahead and open up PUBG and show you guys. Alright, so when we hop into a game like PUBG here, if you go into the settings, you can see we're able to take advantage of the full 90 frames on PUBG, and it's just a much smoother experience as well, too. Uh, so I do think if you're a heavy gamer, I think the Note 20 Ultra is actually a really good buy, uh, very slept on for gaming. You get really, really good settings. And the Pixel, it's pretty good for gaming as well too, don't get me wrong, but it's nowhere near going to be, you're not going to get like the 90 frames. And you can see, we can't do HDR Extreme, so it's just not as well optimized uh, as the Note. Uh, but it does do fine with gaming performance, especially with the updates and stuff like that that it's had. Um, so yeah, both phones will do fine for the casual gamer, but if you are, you know, if you game a little bit more on your phone, I think you'd be happier with the Note for sure. Both of these phones have stereo speakers, so let's go ahead and check them out. We're at max volume. Now, one thing I noticed, they're both pretty loud, but the Pixel definitely has a lot more bass, actually. You can actually hear the low notes on the bass on the Pixel. So, two very good speakers on here. Like I said, I do like the Pixels, uh, the way it sounds a little bit more, um, you know, but they both sound really, really good. And also, here's one thing, guys. So the Note does a really good job with the fingerprint scanner. So this is Samsung's ultrasonic fingerprint scanner. And you can sort of lightly tap it, and it registers. But the Pixel has an optical fingerprint scanner. So you can't like let lightly tap these. You have to apply a little bit of pressure to it. And there's no face unlock. So I definitely would give the biometrics to the Note 20 Ultra. It's just better. You have face unlock, and you have it's a faster fingerprint scanner. Let's go ahead and talk about the cameras. I'm going to go show you guys the side by side still. So let me know which photos you found to be better. So the Galaxy has a 108 megapixel standard, 12 megapixel periscope telephoto. It's got 5x optical zoom. And it's got the 50 times hybrid zoom. It has a 12 megapixel ultra wide. It can shoot an 8K24 with a 10 megapixel selfie cam that also shoots in 4K60. On the Pixel, you do have a 50 megapixel camera on here, 48 megapixel telephoto, it does 4x optical zoom, and then a 12 megapixel ultra wide on here, it shoots in 4K 60, and then a 11.1 megapixel ultra wide that shoots in only 4K 30. So check out these side by side stills and let me know what you guys think.
Alright, so let's talk about the battery situation. So the Note has a 4500 milliamp hour battery, 25 watt charging, 15 watt wireless charging, and then you also have reverse wireless charging. The Pixel does have a slightly bigger battery at 5000 milliamps, 23 watt wire charging, 23 watt wireless charging, and you also have reverse wireless charging. Uh, basically, the battery life experience feels pretty much the same on both of these phones. They both sort of average out at around 6 hours of screen on time, which is not bad at all. Uh, it is technically a full day. Um, so yeah, so both phones kind of do similar in terms of battery, and they both kind of charge up the same as far as charging speeds as well, too. Um, so yeah, so that's pretty much it, guys. That's basically the, you know, the main pros and cons of each phone. So... Be sure to let me know which phone would you guys pick and I'll catch you guys in the next one.